Hello everyone, I am Sarfraz from MobileSMSPK.net and today I am going to review QMobile S6 Plus. So let's get started. I have already made unboxing video of QMobile S6 Plus and recommending you to watch that video as well. QMobile S6 Plus is latest phone from QMobile which is the successor of QMobile S6. Phone has 5.5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution. Phone also has 8 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera. And powered by 1.3 GHz quad core processor coupled with 2 GB of RAM. Let's start with call quality of the phone. Because of microphone is hidden inside back cover, that's why calling experience is not very enjoyable on this phone. Recipient get choppy voice and facing time to time distortion during call. Let me give you physical overview of the phone. On front, there is 5 megapixel camera along with sensor and 5.5 inch HD IPS screen. Notification LED is missing on this phone. On top of the phone, there is 3.5 mm headphone jack and micro USB port. Volume rockers and power button on the right. Nothing on the bottom side of the phone. Nothing on left side of the phone as well. On back, there is 8 megapixel camera along with LED flash, fingerprint sensor and speaker grill at the bottom. Phone has on-screen navigational buttons. Build quality of the phone is good, phone feels solid and sturdy in hand. It is made of plastic and build quality is not on par with Qmobile S6. But still phone does not feel cheap. I have not noticed any sound or creaks during my testing. Let me show you how fast fingerprint sensor is. Fingerprint sensor on this phone is better than S6. It is not very fast like Qmobile Z14 but more accurate than Qmobile S6. Let me show you how you can add fingerprint on this phone. Let me show you the weight of the phone. Phone has 16 GB of internal storage from which around 10.9 GB is available out of the box. You can always expand internal storage through micro SD card slot. Phone supports up to 128 GB card. Phone comes with 2 GB of RAM from which 1.4 GB is available on first boot. Phone has dedicated dual SIM slots and separate micro SD card slot. So you can use two SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. Phone supports 3G and up to 128GB micro SD card. Sound is not very loud on this phone. You can easily miss the call on loud environments. Speaker of the phone is downgrade from Qmobile S6. Let me show you how loud the speaker is. Phone has 5.5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution and 268 ppi. Display looks bright and sharp, color saturation is good but color tone is little bit on cooler side. Viewing angles are not very impressive on this phone, you can notice color shift on extreme angles. Even though it is not a full HD display but you won't notice any pixel on the fonts. Sunlight visibility is acceptable, you can use this phone outside without any problem. But you need to crank up the brightness to full to use it at outdoors. There are additional themes comes with this phone and this is how they looks like.
फोन इज पावर्ड बाई वन पॉइंट थ्री जी गार्स कॉड कोर प्रोसेसर विथ मीडिया टेक एम टी सिक्स फाइव एट जीरो थर्टी टू बिट चिप सेट फोन ऑल्सो एस टू जी बी ऑफ रैम एंड माली फोर हंड्रेड एम पी जी पी यू फोन एस एक्सलरोमीटर प्रोक्सीमिटी एंड लाइट सेंसर्स लेट मी शो यू द बेंच मार्क स्कोर हेयर इज द एंटू and here is the geekbench single and multi core scores i will make comparison and speed test video of qmobile s6 plus with qmobile j5 so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now so you will get the alert when that video will be available day to day performance of the phone is fast and i have not noticed any lags or hiccups phone supports up to two finger touch phone does not support otg qmobile s6 plus runs on android marshmallow 6.0 and ui is very light and close to stock android that's why phone performs very well in day to day task Let's take a look at some of the additional features available on the phone. There are couple of gestures available on the phone. Tap to wake and quick start. As name suggest, you can wake up the phone by double tapping on the screen while phone is on sleeping mode. Quick start works like black screen gestures from which you can open assigned app by drawing symbols on the screen. But this function is very laggy on this phone and it takes ages to start any app. Phone has a quick button feature and when you enable it a floating Qmobile button will appears on the screen but this time functionality is a bit different on this phone You can only assign shortcuts of different apps onto this but shrink screen functionality is missing on this phone You can set the transparency of this quick button but you cannot hide it by long pressing on it There is an option to set schedule time to power off or on the phone by itself. This feature is useful if you want to power off the phone at night hours while sleeping. Just like other Qmobile phones, this phone also comes with number of bloatwares. Some useful apps are pre-installed on the phone like file manager, Facebook and WhatsApp. There is a game load folder which contains trial version of games. which consume lots of storage of the phone and you cannot delete them but you can disable them phone is powered by 2500 mA user replaceable battery battery timing of the phone is impressive i have managed to get around 5.5 hours of screen on time with maximum brightness during my testing so it is quite possible you might get better battery time it takes around 1 hour and 45 minutes to charge the phone Phone comes with 8 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera. Quality of back camera is good, but camera interface is very old. Android Jelly Bean comes with same camera interface. There are number of modes available on the phone. Let me show you the shutter speed and picture quality of the camera. Here is the picture quality of back camera. You can notice that all the details of the picture are clear when you zoom it. Here is the picture quality of front camera. Details are not clear when you zoom the picture. This phone supposed to be better than Qmobile S6 but unfortunately that is not the case. This phone has bigger screen but it is still HD screen with 720p resolution which means that this phone has lower pixel count than Qmobile S6 same goes with camera this phone has 8 megapixel camera but S6 has 13 megapixel camera and this phone has back firing speaker which i don't prefer and sound is also tiny on this phone and i have also find problem in call quality of this phone there are so many drawbacks on this phone 
so it is difficult for me to recommend this phone. Even though battery time is impressive on this phone, but I still think Mobile A6 is better choice than this phone. So that was the review of Qmobile S6 Plus. Gaming review of Qmobile S6 Plus will be coming soon on this channel. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you have any questions, feedbacks or suggestions, do let me know in the comment section below. For more information, please do visit my website.